Hi everyone, Michael Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In this lesson, we're going to discuss one of the most basic tools in the toolbar and in Photoshop, and that is the Crop Tool. And we're going to talk about cropping our images for composition, as well as straightening horizons, cropping for perspective, a new feature to correct perspective directly in the Crop Tool, the comparison between CS6's interface and CS5, the new CS6 interface, and actually to start with, correcting your images for lens distortion and camera vignetting, which is probably the very first thing you should do before you even crop your image. So let's get started. I want to open up an image and this is going to open in Camera Raw. Here's the image right here. And what you notice is the horizon line is almost straight over here. It's actually tilted slightly, but it's mostly curved. And it may be hard to see on your screen, but notice how bright the sand is and it begins to get a little dark just along the outer edge on both sides here. That's vignetting from the fact that this was an 18 to 200 zoom lens shot at 18 millimeter wide angle. So what I would like to do is remove this distortion before I even crop. And that can be done here in Camera Raw or in Photoshop. So we're going to go to the Lens Correction panel in Camera Raw and just click the Enable Lens Profile Corrections. And notice, magically, it straightened out. It knows that this was a Nikon camera. It knows that the lens was an 18 to 200 zoom lens. And it has the profile for that lens. And it corrected the problem. So I'm going to undo that and open the image in Photoshop. So you can do it right here in Camera Raw. I kind of like doing it here. It's your call. Let's open it up in Photoshop now. There it is, same situation. We can go to the Filter menu down to Lens Correction. And one of the cool things that I'll show you, there's a trick we can play, but we're here. It's already corrected it once it knew it was a Nikon camera. Uh, the lens, all I have to do is let it know that it's an 18 to 200 356 zoom lens. And it has removed that vignette and straightened up the horizon. You can do this either here or in Camera Raw. But since we make some initial corrections in Camera Raw, just as a workflow efficiency method, I like doing this feature in Camera Raw. So we'll click OK. Now, in Camera Raw, there's also a crop tool. But when it crops it, it crops and throws away all of the pixels, and you're left with it. The tool in Photoshop for cropping is much more robust than the crop tool in Camera Raw. So lens correction, sure. Do that in Camera Raw first, bring it in here. Then do your cropping from that point on. All right, so now we've talked about how to correct for lens distortion and camera vignette either in Photoshop or Camera Raw. And I prefer doing this in Camera Raw. Okay.